hello guys welcome to another video of azure devops in this video we are going to discuss and understand about group rules we'll be seeing how you can set up the group rules and why we need to create group rules to add permissions and other things in azure devops okay here in i am in my azure devops portal if you go to organization setting click on your organization and click on organization setting and inside users you find the option of group rules which you can create and add the group rule inside your azure devops organizations okay so i will tell you why we need to create the group rules so there are there are multiple ways to add the permissions inside azure devops either you can create the users in uh, azure devops directly and add it from here or you can also create the group rules okay if you have to add the users from here you will have to add one user at a time so it will if you have multiple users inside your organization it will be very difficult to add each of them one by one okay and assign the permission so to avoid that you can create the group rules okay to create the group rules simply click on this add a group rule and you will be able to create it once you have created the group rule either you can attach one uh, a group which you might have created inside your azure devops or inside uh, your microsoft azure active directory or microsoft azure in okay you can include that group directly here inside your azure devops group rules and just add or remove users directly inside that group then uh, the permissions will be auto reflected here okay suppose you have one devops team where you have eight members inside your team you have created a group rule uh, for your devops team members to assign basic permission whenever uh, one person uh, ninth person is added inside your uh, devops team you just directly go into the inter id whatever group you might have created for them and just add that member directly inside your group here inside the microsoft inter id okay like this yeah so suppose this is a test hyphen microsoft 365 this is the group for your devops team you can add this group directly inside group policy so that whenever you add this uh, or whenever you add some member inside this group they do those members will be getting the access automatically by default you don't need to assign them the permissions by coming here in the users and adding them uh, again okay so let's click on group rules uh, you can also attach or add the azure devops groups as well here in the group rules okay let's now go ahead and create the group rule click on add a group rule here uh, you need to assign the microsoft inter id group or azure devops group okay if you have included or if you have added your microsoft inter id integrated that you will be able to get all the groups or integrate uh, all the groups whatever you might have configured here inside your azure devops okay you can see i have integrated microsoft inter id directly in my azure devops then i should be able to access those groups directly here okay you'll be getting all the groups whatever you might have configured in microsoft inter id at the moment i don't have any groups that's why i am not getting all of them here if you create one group then you will be able to add them here or you can directly type the group name here as well if you want to create a new azure devops group name you can create the azure devops group name as well or directly add users in that group 
or even remove the users from that group and you will be able to manage the permission this way okay suppose this is my group okay test group then i think this group should be there inside the overview let me check the total groups yeah we have this test group inside the microsoft inter id that's why this is coming here and now you will have to assign the access level suppose uh, what access level you want to provide uh, for the members in this group either you can provide basic stakeholder or even uh, permissions are there like two more permissions one is visual studio subscriber and another one is basic plus test plan so based on the features which you might have uh, you might be using inside your Azure DevOps you will get the access level so at the moment we are getting only basic and stakeholder but you will be getting two more that is visual studio subscriber and basic plus test plan so based on the requirement you can provide the access level so that whatever or uh, all the people being added in this group will get this access inside your Azure DevOps if you provide basic they will all get the basic access okay you can also select the project whatever uh, project you want to provide them access or leave it blank so that they will uh, just get this basic access and uh, there should be no access to any of the projects okay if you want to assign them uh, access for this project you can just add it project name and the project group as well like uh, you want to provide them contributor access administrator or project reader okay so let's select the project contributor and click on add so if you see there is one run, running task to add the group rule if you click on this group rule has been created if you refresh this page now you will be seeing just uh, you will be seeing one uh, test group with base access level as basic and this will reevaluate each time generally it reevaluate every time in 24 hours so whenever you add one member inside this group they will get access basic access for your your Azure DevOps within 20 24 hours by default okay for that they will have to uh, log in to this azure devops instance at least once then they will uh, the their user account will be added automatically here inside all users using this group policy okay so suppose you added this and uh, there is one member you just added they will get the access or if you remove people from this group as well they will lose this access from here because uh, this azure devops group rules will re-evaluate every 24 hours okay if you want to do it right now you can click on it so that uh, this will uh, re-evaluate at this time as well okay but by default this will re-evaluate re in every 24 hours okay like this you can create the create multiple uh, groups as well multiple group rules as well suppose you have some uh, different group suppose this is different group where you want to provide a stakeholder access without giving access to any of the project you can add it so that people who are there in this group will get only stakeholder access and they will have no access of project okay so like this you can create multiple group rules to manage your azure devops resources or basically you can also say you can integrate role based access control or RBAC directly inside your azure devops using group policies and microsoft azure inter id or azure devops group 
if you go to permissions uh, you will be able to see all the groups whatever you might have inside your azure devops and you will be able to add them here as well suppose let me add one group this is my azure devops group you can add the users as well provide the access label and other things are same access label projects and everything is same just the group is different here we are selecting the azure devops group and here we are uh, before this we have selected uh, microsoft intra id group okay if you are selecting azure devops group you will have to add users directly in azure devops portal not in the microsoft intra id if you have to manage or if you have or if you are managing resources or users in your microsoft intra id make sure you add group rules using microsoft intra id and add users inside your group in here in the azure portal okay then they will be able to get uh, the access by default and automat automatically and if you remove them from your groups they will also lose the access from your azure devops so this way you will be able to manage your azure devops license efficiently and makes uh, you will be able to make sure that uh, your license is not being unused okay that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching